Hello, welcome everyone. I'm Anish Krishna, and today I'll be showing you guys how to do this pop up style transition in DaVinci Resolve 17. To get ourselves started, we're going to need our clips aligned like so. In our edit page, select both of our clips, right click, and then hit new fusion clip. Make sure your playhead is over the fusion clip, and then you're going to select fusion. We're going to un uh, unselect our spline and our media pool. And then this is what should we should be ended up with. The yellow color represents the background the clip and the green color represents the foreground clip. We're going to select our foreground clip and get a transform node. Now I want my pop-up to happen around this area. So I'm going to keyframe my size, go back a couple of frames, keyframe my size again, and then do this. And then I'm going to keyframe my XY position and then go back a bit and then use this downwards. This doesn't necessarily have to be downwards, you can put it this way, this way, this way, diagonal, or however you want it. It's just the basic principle. You can add an angular momentum to it, anything you want. Now, since we've done that, we're going to go to our settings, enable motion blur. I like to keep it at 8 and 280 because that looks good. And then we're going to uncheck our nodes and then go to a spline graph. Select displacement, left control mouse wheel, select both of our keyframes, hit this to zoom to fit, again, and then hit S on our keyboard, hit S on our keyboard so it smooths it out. This is going to be so much easier rather than like if you have so many things, it's going to be so much easier for you to smooth out your clips to make the proper curves. After you've done that, go to the size again, same thing, select both of our keyframes, same to fit, hit S on our keyboard, and then that should be good to go. Now, there, nice and simple, Dominator 17. Hope you guys enjoyed this small tutorial if you guys have any more questions in my edits feel free to leave a comment down below on how i did them and i will do tutorials as so if you guys want to know even more even like the basics of the basics i will have a link down below to a video where you can check the basics of amv by pj and then if you guys have further more questions and things to ask i will have a discord link down below where there are the issues of editors which are which are there to help thank you again and see you all next time